Welcome to K1 World Grand Prix 2021 Japan. This is the K1 Bantamweight Japan tournament at the Yokohama Butokan. I am Russell Goodall. And I'm Nicholas Pettis. This is the uh, last of the quarterfinals. Uh, Toma Kuroda in the red and Koji Ikeda. Both have the uh, hair to prove that they've been, but uh, very still young. Toma Kuroda here is actually 20. You might not look at it, but we'll see what he does in this fight. He's a fantastic fighter. You can, you can tell already? No, no I already, I know him from before, so yeah. I've seen him fight before. He's got great combinations, kicks hard, punches hard. And he's fighting uh, Ikeda here, yeah. who's also known as the dangly spider. That's <laughs> for this long reach, arm reach, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, in this weight class, for him to be 170 centimeters tall, that's like a really tall man in that area. And, and thin enough, guys, because it's a bantam weight under 53 kgs at 170 centimeters. Yes, definitely. Huge advantage in the reach for that. Mm -hmm. Let's see what he can do with that reach with his legs. <laughs> and he's already proved that. Dangerous knees for sure. Well, although Kuroda there. Not very really faced with that. Yes, I, I can. I, you can see the difference. There, although, through the definitely, oh, this punch through there. It's yeah, huge. that five centimeters is actually huge. Mm. Whoa, whoa, whoa! The long arms. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Punches there with a little jump try from Kuroda. Some funny fair shorts he's wearing though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you talk about showmanship. Oh! That was good. So Kuda seems to have his guard down, but also up at the same time. Kind of almost got that fearless look in his eyes. Yeah. Toma being the southpaw here. Mm. Ooh, that's been funny. Yeah, I like the way he, he puts those things together. Though. Mm. Like how he uses them together? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like it's just when he sees the opportunity, he'll just go for it. Mm. You never know. People do get knocked out with spinning back this. Oh, yeah. So let's hope we see one in, in today's tournament. Because he's got the longer reach there, even yeah. standing against Tomo, who's the south point, his high kicks are actually able to connect all the way up. Oh, oh what happened there? Yeah. Yeah. Was that a down? <laughs> what? Three. Oh, man. He's getting a catch. I don't think he got hurt on that. Okay, yeah, he's got just the fighting pose up again. But yeah, that was a definite down wow. by Kuroda. I missed that. Yeah, we I did. It was, it and I still missed it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. So we might see some of that in the the when we see the slow motion stuff here after that. We just finished the round one hmm. of this. Well, uh, that's a standing eight count. That means that he's already ten eight for this round. So go. Koji Ikeda is going to have to make up for that in the next two rounds. See, that's also a really bad position to be in in a, in a tournament fight. Right. I mean, it's always a bad position to get caught. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but so, even more so in right. the tournament. Oh, okay. Whoa, yeah, that was a clean whoa, shot. Oh, here we go. Nice. Wow. It's really textbook. Yeah. Sort of punch there to the face. That one. Bam. Straight down. But that is the 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 danger from the south falls because it's the left hand. They they do the straight with. It's sometimes really hard to read it. Ikeda in the blue corner standing up during the break and uh, coming into round two of this uh, last quarterfinal, quarterfinal number four. In this K1 Bantam Wait, here we go, round two. Starts off strong. Nice, nice movement. <clears throat> Ooh, trying to let me get up. Oh, 
the funny thing is, I mean, you yeah. don't also want to be like too defensive in a fight, even if you've got it down. Uh, you've got to keep fighting. Uh, yes. So, so Ikeda has to keep, still keep on trying, right? And, and putting yeah, the pressure on. Yeah. Keep trying. Your eye, right, right. Yeah. Even out, although he's got. Yeah, you won the first round, 10 8, but I mean, that's no guarantee you're going to win nope, the fight. Nope. Yeah. We oh, nice fast moves there from Kuroda. I'm not feeling that Gita has actually taken his height to advantage. As much as he could, right? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. think if I was him, I would just stand up taller and be taller, bigger man kind of mm, thing. Mm, mm. Because those five centimeters are huge. I mean, Kuroda doesn't seem intimidated by that fight, and he's like fighting just, just like it's, you know, he's the, the, his opponent is the same as him in terms of stature. But. Yeah. And a half left in round two. Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh, that was a good punch shot. He mm. ducked right into it, so he hit him in the head with it. Really well moving from Oh my god! Oh my god! Now, okay, right now, <laughs> can Ikida stand up? I don't think he's coming up after whoa. this. No and, uh, oh. whoa! <laughs> I think he's like lost it in the knees. He could, I mean, he was. Oh, that was a clear. Wow, so that was in round two, and definitely a, a, a knockout there by. Um, Toma Kuroda, no judgment needed there, it was pretty clear to everyone. What a fantastic kick, but that's really the scary part about the South Coast. Look at this. Yeah. Pop, boom. Knee down. Straight to the jaw. That's, that's got to like last. Oh, man. The way that he couldn't stand up, like he tried to then... Couldn't that's what he should have been doing, actually. With, with his long reach, Yeah, because right? he's got the reach, he's got yeah. the height for it. Mm. Actually, that was super impressive winner, uh, winning by Toma. There. I told you he's good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and we believed you, the kid. Uh, we were right and sticky with your opinion. But uh, yeah, a lesson learned by his opponent Koji Kida, but a nice, a clean win from uh, Toma Kuroda, 20-year-old. This is only about his uh, seventh uh, fight, and and a nice win. Too. Yeah. What's the KO bonus? What's the the I think KO it's bonus? Like Two thousand dollars or something. No, more? <laughs> Maybe it's, he can take out. No, no, no. Maybe it's an incentive, but not the round girl. <laughs> Definitely a good day for um, Toma Kuroda. We'll see more of him later on in the tournament. Uh, yeah, great. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. This was uh, K1 World Grand Prix 2021, the K1 Bantamweight Japan tournament. And the winner for that one was Toma Kuroda. I'm Russell Goodall. And I'm Nicholas Pettis.